you're presenting my Marble Madness project. Okay, so the Marble so the goal of the Marble Madness project is to build a track, as you see here. This is my track that will make the marble take as much time as possible from this point to that point. Okay, so the main difficulties of this project is the budget that we have taken into consideration while, while building this, which I will go more into depth later, the space that we have to build, specifically of the plank, which is 80 by 20 centimeters, and the time that it takes from the ball to reach the top to, uh, to the bottom. And um, some background research that I did for this project is that it is important because it's based on speed. The accumulated speed is, is called momentum. The goal is to hold the momentum and to make it stop and to make it generally lose its speed and it has to speed up again and do that over and over again. That's why there are multiple bumps as you can see here. And the best way that I found is bouncing and they bounce off the bumps obviously and the kinetic energy is made by gravity gravity and so my main building block for this project was this little structure right here it's made out of three popsicle sticks glued together and they together form this little brick and it's sort of what everything is made out of so i sort of lined them up with these little bricks and they have and basically i made the calculations and if you were to fully expedite and if you were to fully use the budget you would use 27 of these sticks 27 of these bricks bricks i mean and first for and obviously the building steps you need to acquire the materials you would need to form the bricks you would need to lay down the the bricks in a zigzag pattern and you would have to make bumps and test out if the bumps would just stop the marble or if they would make it bump then go and of course for testing you need to get your marble ready you need to place on your marble you need to wait till the marble gets here to the bottom and then you need to stop the timer once it gets to the bottom and you need and obviously you need to start the timer when the marble starts rolling and here generally my summary and the solution that i found a solution for the marble going way too fast would be the bumps and basically i found out that the most coefficient co cost efficient way would be the bumps and my final time ended up being 30 seconds but we had to be careful because there were too many bumps, the, the marble would just stop as displayed here. I have attempted to use 20 bumps, but the marble ended up stopping. I also attempted using seven bigger bumps, but that ended up not being as fast until I finished off with 15 bumps, which ended up being 30 seconds. So yeah, it was, yeah, it did well. And the benefits of this is that this is a pretty good display of the of the laws of physics when it comes to this, as well as showing, as well as being pretty slow to the marble here. And it when the marble in a way it sort of worked like speed bumps on the road, but it does, but instead in the speed bump you 